Hello folks and welcome back to Alma, Missouri where we're just coming out from where we've been staying recently and that and we're in October so it's a new month and time for a new wheel spin for the contract so we've got plowing and harvesting at the moment so let's spin the wheel first of all and determine what contracts we're going to be doing in this episode even though we've got our own field to be working on today once we purchase field 2 and that yeah we still need to get some contracts get some money coming in So, alright, we spun the wheel and we got harvesting, so thankfully we lost the small corn contract and then we had a cotton contract popping up, so we're doing both corn and cotton. Also, we spun the wheel of economy sense and thankfully, after all of that episode, doing all that baiting, all that potato harvesting on hard economy, it sort of semi balances out a bit, you know. Now we've got easy nap, so if we go to the store. And here we are, we're going to drone mode, slight delay, and I'm going to view all the equipment we're borrowing from the farmers so we can do the contract. So these four here are for the coral contract, and then we've got the cotton contract in that. So cotton is on field four, so we're going to have to head down the road and get that one done. And thankfully the coral contract is just up the road from here, so... Let's hop into our Massey Ideal 8 ton. But yeah, thankfully we've got, we've got a little lorry for this one, so that's going to make our life so much easier. And yeah, you know what, I could lease a bigger tray you now, a bit of an unrealistic one, but I'm happy to use this for now. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this done because we need this to be done. Unfortunately, this is reserved for contract work because we can purchase our first field today, which is field two there at the bottom there. So we're going to go past that as we go to do the con contract. And yeah, that is a very small, dinky field. But yeah, we need to figure out, like, you know, get our own land in that. So as well as our own equipment. So use market in that. Do we get a oh, whole. Oh. That would be nice, you know, a nice powerful tractor and that. Yes, it's a bit used now. Uh, what hours? 5.2 hours. That paired with the trailer and that. That would be a nice combo to go with, you know. The plow and wind row, not so much. But yeah, that will be determined later on in a wheel spin because I will be doing a wheel spin of, you know, small, medium or large because I want to work on our first set of equipment, so... Yeah, I think we'll do that for the tractor and that. So if we get a large tractor, then yeah, by means we can go for that. So here we are at the cornfield. Let's go and unfold the header and that. And yeah, this will take us a while, I think, because Field 24, yeah, definitely not very worker friendly in that. Yeah, by no means whatsoever is it worker friendly. Ooh. Helps you unfold your horse as well. Can we harvest it now? Yes, we can. So get over our lights on. And there we go. We are harvesting the corn. And yet, yeah, speaking of our own corn, that should be ready to harvest. I am determined to chaff it, you know, to get silage in that. But again, I will also be able to be determined of whether or not we can do it via a fermenting silo, or it has to be a bunker silo. And what does I mean by a fermenting silo? Of course, I mean a production in that for it. Because, yeah, we can use the custom ferment silo, it costs, what, 10 grand or so? And yeah, I think from that. We, you know, just save it and yeah, we get a bit of chaff in and get a lot of silage very quickly. But first of all, we need to get this contract here done. So currently it is seven o'clock. I think I'll crack on this off camera. I'll do a little time lapse video for the cotton in that on field four in that. Yeah, I want to avoid doing time lapses too much in that because. Yeah, in a way, he sort of deserves the 
for a little bit of the videos now, I think, personally. But as well, I like to show you, you know, work getting done in that. Let's get 269 grand at the moment. Yeah, uh, 44 grand is for the field. For able to get that tractor in that, that'd be a huge deal in that. And plus, we're on easy economy in that, so. Obviously, we won't be sending the slide dish to well, this month. We'll be sending it around December or February now. But again, that really determines on what equipment we can have in that because, you yeah, know, we need to, you know, lease or borrow a harvester in that, a forge harvester in that, and there are a couple of options in the mod hub in that. I've got some of them in here in store in that, so. Just turn around. But yeah, by no means is this worker friendly. Because yeah, think about forge harvesting. If you go for the headers, I think it is. I've got some of these pull behind ones, you know, with a tractor net. You know, you've got some of these sit ones here, but that would take way too long. To be honest, I will be missing a little bit there. I'll focus on that when we come back around, but yeah, I think if we well, first we've got to determine how we process the chaff net. Because if we can purchase a fermenting silo, that would be absolute nice. Also, actually, yeah, when's that corn withering? Because I think it's November the corn withers. Yep. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go and purchase that field now. So, first of all, is that ready to harvest? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll miss some bits. So, yeah, we purchased our first field. That is nice. And actually, you know what? Let's put a little pause on for this for a moment. And you know what? I'm going to try to risk it with a worker now. So, get the coordinates to zero degrees, pretty much. But yeah, you know what? Let's do a wheel spin on do we use a fermented silo or a bunker silo? So, right, we spun the wheel. Also, I had to quickly empty the harvester and that cloud was full. And we got fermenter silo, so that is very fortunate. So, he used the custom bunker, custom fermenter silo. Also, now, one more wheel spin because actually I'm thinking what well, I want to purchase our first equipment in that. So, these two would be a very good pairing in that. So, yeah, I'm thinking do we buy these new or used? But yeah, also, actually, you know what? Let's do a wheel spin first of all of. Yeah, I think a wheel spin of large, medium, or small tractors. Because I want to get our first tractor in that. If we get large, I will be purchasing that along with, if we ever to get used, the trader as well. So yeah, that, these two, I'm not too worried about. 9.7 meters, that would be a nice wind rower as well. So, but yeah, the plow as well. I want a better plow than that, not a two and a half meter plow. So yeah, let's do a couple more wheel spins of, first of all, the tractors and that. And then, yeah, can we purchase used or new? So, once again, Harvester is full, and yeah, so we spun the wheel, and yeah, large and old. I meant to put used in the wheel spin, but that is very fortunate for us, so now we can just get cracking on with stuff, so I think, you know what, let's start by getting our terror track. Ooh. Nope, I do not want to do anything that changes the price. Front loader, maybe. Beacons, yes. Wheels, I'll go at least BKTs and that. 355 horsepower, to be fair, that is going to be enough for us. And uh, fermenter side though, or well, not fermenter side of the trailer, I will purchase that. I think, you know what, if we can get that wind rower as well, that would be a very nice addition as well. I think, 
yeah, I think, yeah, we'll spend every episode all, why not do, if we do purchase stuff, so remember, every episode is a month for that, so, I think, yeah, if we do a wheel spin of where or not we want to buy equipment, new or used in that. Yeah, that would be a very nice addition, that. Also, later on, once we get everything done, we will do a wheel spin as well for our next field. Because I want to just keep on expanding fields in that. If we get a large enough field in, yeah, I'll we'll create our own little farm net. Or maybe use some of the pre existing farms on the map now. Again, it's all determined by the wheel spin, but. First of all, let's get this done, and then yeah, I think we'll, next time we'll see you folks is when we've completed this contract, got our money in that, and then yeah, we'll start leasing equipment for, well, you know, yeah, lease equipment for the fermenter site, where I can get the fermenter site put in. short time later we are done with the corn contract we got 26 grand in profit from the extra crop in that and yeah 36,800 plus leasing equipment six grand yeah it was pretty steep the leasing equipment but compared to again leasing the equipment ourselves yeah, it's worth it in that so overall I am not upset Ooh, that was close Ooh. Ooh, I think we're meant to go here so yeah, we'll go to the livestock cells point. Unfortunately, it gave us the Terrados T440 mod in that, so literally all of it was just a loose cotton, like no bells in that, so there's actually zero cotton we're losing in that, so yeah, a bit of a tight turn on this, even with the tracks. So let's put the pipe out. No, it's not there. That's the 
trigger box for the animals. But yeah, let's see how much we get for the cotton now. So, contract is now completed. 27,700. And that was a few. That I like her very much. So, now we're at 80 grand. And this is after, you know, purchasing all the equipment. Also, I've gone and already purchased the fermenter silo. And I've gone and borrowed some equipment. I borrowed the. I borrowed a forge harvester and that. I've borrowed a trader. So I thought, let's use this trader that. So. Oop, one of these cars. So yeah, let's go and get that hooked up. And then, yeah. Let's get harvesting our first field. So there we go. Perch. Uh, purchasing, approaching our land, so yeah, our little fermenter side just over there, and actually that was a nice little spot on that, overall not too bad, you know, with the terrain and that, deformation and that, so, overall I am happy on that, so, so move our tractor out of the way, so yeah, I'm really hoping this, class Jaguar 9000, or not, not, not 9900,9, it's got a 600 horsepower engine on it, and oh bloody hell oh dang it that requires a pin hook trader and this is a ball point so it does look like we need to get another trader in that so again I'm thinking of a slightly cheaper option so does this one have a pin hook yes it does let's match a class green there we go and yeah so the sat 1600 oh lovely job Z and oh, you know what let's just use this now it's not too much of a speed difference compared to the claws tractor we're using or what we got so yeah wait a sec what's I go and grab a trader for this oops Bit topsy turvy there. It's alright, yeah. Had to do a bit of fitting there because for a reason that that trailer would not hook on, but this one will, so I'm using one of the TARDIS one. Yep, yeah, not not unreal. This is 25,000 litres swivel axle on that, so yeah, I thought a swivel axle would make a better sense, you know, for a well, a harvester and that. But yeah, rather than 44,000 litres, we've only got a 25,000 litre capacity, so uh, we'll make do of that as we do. But yeah, let's get chaffing. And there we go, we are filling up, and to be fair, it's a bit of a, yeah, a, bit of a quicker rate than I would have thought, but. Yeah, so I think we're just going to make our money back because the least in this equipment cost what? Nine grand, ten grand or so, give or take. So, yeah, but I think the size is worth about 500 pounds per thousand litres. At the moment, actually, that's the thing. Because we've got an easy economy, it's not a guarantee that you will get, you know, easy economy again between now, or well, between November and February. So what we comes down to the contract work as well, you know. What contracts we get in that, because if there's no contracts over winter and that, then yeah, we'll be just skipping ahead of months, so I think that from inside it also is quite rapid as well, so I could utilize that. Yeah, I think if I utilize that, get this processed. Because, yeah, that is a very quick process. Yeah, we're losing 5%, but, you know what, I'm not too fussed about that. And actually, also, speaking of which, I think on the way back, I saw a hay bell. Yeah, a hay bell to that, that may just be able to lead us to getting some more. Because, yeah, I think it's about few bells now, about 10 bells, 50,000 years, 55,000 years worth. We can put that in there, get that processed. Yeah, I think, you know what, we'll do that. 
and ooh. Oops, I completely lost track of that. Waffing on, and yeah. That's another thing. Oh, uh, Ramp is just a trailer in that. Oh, lovely in that. That's just all I need. So, yeah, I'll just harvest that bit of chaff there. And, yeah, we've lost chaff, so. Actually, I've got an idea. Why not stop checking can't not hook this up? Because. Can't hook us up, so what I'm gonna do is set a worker off and then I'll just go alongside. So, first of all, we'll get this one sort of processing. There we go. So yeah, me waffing on, you know, just chat away. Yeah, that's what, maybe a thousand pounds worth or a thousand dollars we lost. Chaff's going in. Yeah, it's very loud, that is. So, you know what, for now, we'll turn that off. So, yeah, that is a little bit touched out. Go. So yeah, overall, I think we wasted what a grand or twelve hundred to lease that trailer. But you know, I mean, they, it's not not teething problems. It's just one of those things. Over time, we're just figuring out. So there we go. Hopefully, this works. Yes, it is. Lovely job, Lee. That I am enjoying. You know, just chaffing along. The worker do his thing. And wow, that worker just shot off. Shot like a stack rat, it did. So, yeah, let's get on this, get it done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done with all this. And hopefully, we're gonna have a fair bit of money coming in towards the end of the month from the signage. First of all, I had to pay two and a half grand for the bell loader to get those ten bells. And then also there was a thing of this doesn't take bells, so I had to get creative, let's put it that way, in terms of shredding those bells and that. So that cost us overall five grand. Yeah, but yeah, I'm sure there was a modded bell shredder in that, but I'm gonna mess around with that. I went with the sort of cheeky option of processing it, so. That is that. 
Now we'll put the last bit of chaff in. And overall, we have looks. So yeah, silver contracts for that. Man, that process that hay very quickly in that, so... But yeah, so Ricky now is just a case of, you know... Then this process, so what I'm going to do is... Return these, because we don't need these anymore. Well, actually, technically, if you did buy it, you know, filled up in that. Essentially, at that point, it's ready, but... Yeah, this is processing it very quickly, so... Yeah, sort of skip time a little bit. And there we go, 141,000 here, so... I think, you know what, let's just go and sell the station now, because... Again, it's not going to be a guarantee we'll get more money coming in. I'm going to keep this for Benson slide just here, because... This will come in handy down the road. Especially if you do more contracts in November and that, because... I think the grass is ready to harvest in the next episode, so... We have a look here, grass. Yeah, that's ready to harvest in the next episode, so... If you get lucky, you'll get contract work and that, and even more luck here. It, on easy economy, but again, that's all determined by wheel spin that. But yeah, 140,000 a year. So if you look at the price of silage, we're gonna get over 500, so that is 70 plus grand. So we're gonna double our money. So even after buying a brand new, well, to us, new to us tractor and trader, yeah, this was second hand. Actually, we could do with a little workshop of some sort now. Actually, thinking what? I'm going to back that here, you know, so... Back you here. And also a jet washer we do need as well, so... Come on, can I just place it somewhere close? Thank you, that would do us very good. Because, yes, I do need to repair this, so... Get a bit more money being spent, but five grand for that to repair. Take it need to repair the trailer net. And yes, with five hours of usage, it's gonna have a bit of increased wear. So overall, down the road, it ain't gonna be worth it compared to people is brand new. However, I'm still happy with our purchase, so let's go sell our first load of signage. That's going to be at the forage cell point, then yeah. Let's be getting more harvesting contracts coming up, which really it's only field 11 up north, north right, northeast. Yeah, apart from that one, there's no more contracts to do in terms of harvesting. But if we do get multiple contracts coming up, yeah, we could perhaps do another wheel spin, you know, of determining on what we exactly do. And also, yeah, field prep, we need to prep that field. What crop do you plant? So, actually, back on cruise control. Is there anything that is sensitive to right now? All this grapes not, well, I'll say I'm not do nose. We could be do nose, depending on the wheel spin. Alfalfa. I know, no screen we're looking at. Yeah, alfalfa. Rye, potentially. Rye is like sensitive now, so. I think, actually, you know what? We'll do one more wheel spin this episode, so. Aussie Radish. I really don't know what to do that because that is really just a fertilizer state. And again, I think you can spell. See, so yeah, actually, you know, yeah, looking at it, it's really wheat, barley, uh, grass, Aussie Radish, rye, and alfalfa we can do so. Once we get this sold, let's do a, another wheel spin on what to plant, because... Even though I say we'll do, you know, one... Yeah, one episode per month. Yeah, I think I may make a slight exception from this. Wait a minute, why is that? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know a deal on that. I swear I did a contract on that, if I don't want to lose the contract, but... Honestly, you know what, I do not know. But yeah, the forage dealer is just over here, so not these ones here. Just over here. And dang it, it's on the left side, so 
I'll yeah, I'll do the tightest of turning. There we go, pipe out. See, you see that's far enough, that is far enough. And look at that money climbing up. That is a very nice sight to see. And yeah, just for that, 6 m grand, going over 20 or so thousand a year, so let's go and grab that. And then we'll go and determine on what crops we're going to be planting. So that is another 12,212. So after buying our first field, our new to us equipment of a large tractor that costed what? Just under 200 grand. And also, yeah, we still have options to buy more items in store if we wish. So we can buy old equipment or use equipment. So for nine months, three months, these are quite. High hours, like 50 hours of work time of that. But I'm thinking, what's that? Wind rower, 9.7 meters. What's the cost of that? 14,000. If we go and have a little look at the wind rower, so that's what we're looking at 41 grand, brand new, for 9.7 meters. Hmm. Yeah, there is other options. No point three for that, and that's a Swadro one. Yeah, we would deal with those. Forty-five grand for a ten-meter one. That's a bit more tempting for us. Especially these other ones could do it at a far greater speed. So six meters at eleven miles an hour, eight point four meters at eighty miles an hour. So thinking, you what? I'm gonna save one out. I think we'll save. We got an option to buy brand new, something like the Kubota one or the Sam's Twist one. That would be one of the two I'd go with, because yeah, all the others are 9, 11 miles an hour. The heat and forest stuff are 12 miles an hour, but yeah, they're very expensive, they are. So yeah, I think what else we'll do that, and yeah. So I think we'll, shall we conclude it here and that? To be fair, we haven't really done much in this episode, I think what? Contract work and that. Two little time lapses and that. I think actually you know what I'm gonna end it here today. No, I think it's a good start in that for our journey in that. We will resume next episode in this month still, so literally we'll be coming off right as back of this. So next episode we'll determine what crops to plant and yeah, in terms of our next field purchase, I want to look at that as well. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share so please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer, and Stream. And I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>